Pet owners have probably heard the reminders to get their cats spayed or neutered, but what about the ones that don't belong to anyone? As Cat Villanzoni found out, it's often up to local animal organizations to step in and manage the feral cat populations. Yeah, they're kind of my family, you know. <laughs> A growing feline family that was a financial problem for Cindy Levine. She feeds the feral cat colony by her South Hero workplace, but it was becoming a burden. I got overwhelmed. I had too many. She contacted the Humane Society of Chittenden County for a trap, neuter, and release, or TNR. It's a program aiming to control wild cat populations. So it can be anything from one cat to two cats to three cats to this colony, which is about 25. Though some may look like house cats, ferals aren't friendly, and Humane Society investigator Joanne Nichols can tell the difference. As um, cats breed through generations of being feral, they can start off with light-colored cats, and then as they breed, they turn darker to match their environment. For Nichols, a TNR day starts early, setting the traps with food around 7.30 under the cat's watchful eyes. She comes back to check them a few hours later. It already has a tipped ear, so we can let this one go. She's already spayed. 18 cats were TNR'd at this site last year, and Levine has noticed the difference. I haven't had any uh, litters of kittens yet, and usually there's two or three during the year. The next stop for these cats is the Colchester Cat Clinic, where they will be spayed and neutered. On average, a female cat can have five to six kittens per litter twice a year. Now, if we do the math, that means 10 to 12 kittens each year for a female cat. That means for population control, they are the ones they especially want to catch. And the cats were stacking up like cordwood, so we really needed to do the cats. This is sterile, it's a sterile drape. Okay. Colchester Cat Clinic veterinarian Peggy Larson can spay a cat in just five minutes. A useful skill when organizations bring in, at times, up to 30 or more to their high volume clinic. Even experienced vets approach ferals with care. So many times we have to anesthetize them with a pole. We have a syringe on the end of a pole because we can't handle them. So your other ear there. The cats are held overnight by the site caretaker and then released. The Humane Society takes on the cost of the procedure, about $40 per cat. Last year, they TNR'd 87 cats. This year, they're shooting to do 100. Cat Villianzoni, Channel 3 News, South Hero. The Chicken Humane Society typically works on five to six TNR sites per year.